how do you get an employee advocacy program on the radar of the enterprise? Well, what I've found is that most um, most of the ways that, that this is even found is because there, people are reading and they're seeing the different research that's talking about how customers are, are uh, two times more likely to connect and believe uh, everyday employees instead of executives, that's the Edelman study, or that most of the purchases we make are really influenced by people we know and not just reviews. Um, you'll find that stuff in like Nielsen. Those are the things that kind of executives are reading these type of things and then they're saying, hey, how can I kind of be part of this? How, how can I get this stuff going? So I've seen it as far as the big enterprises, they are taking hold of it because they also have the resources um, if, they, if they decide to, to focus it there in, in order to get the kind of things that are needed in order to make this really work. Yeah, and absolutely, you know, employee advocacy isn't something that is solely for the enterprise. Any size company can really utilize uh, their workforce to really help get their message across and help their employees connect with their culture in a very unique, very human way, as you mentioned.